This is a pretty simple sea striker made from uh, maybe high carbon steel. This is a quarter inch round bar stock. Throws very good sparks. Uh, I hardened it myself so I know it's hardened properly. Have here a piece of uh, Georgetown flint. I could use any kind. Uh, this particular one happens to be Georgetown. Hold it about a 45 degree angle on a sharp edge. Bring the striker down against the flint. Not that hard. You can do it easy until you get a spark. See, I'm doing it too easy. Get harder and harder. Let's turn it on around. Good spark. Don't get any better. Just to show you on a piece of uh, another kind of flint, let's see what happens. Great spark, great spark. Good flint, good strike. I have here some uh, charred washcloth. I'm going to tear off a little small amount. Washcloth or terry cloth or something. Anyway, tear off a little bit. Lots of little strings hanging off. Washcloth makes a very good char cloth. I'm going to place it on top of the flint. I'm happy to use this, uh, I think it's Keel Cut flint, K-E-O-K-U-K. -E Let's uh, see if it'll light up. Holding it right against the edge of the flint, if you can see. I got the flint about a 45 degree angle. I've checked and made sure I got good sparks on it. Let's try it and see if it'll light. There's the... There's the strike. Okay. Now, let's go slow motion.
And here we go. Let's see if we get it on the first strike. Nope. Second? Yep. There's the strike. Let me put that out. You can put it out with your fingers. Don't get burned. Then you can try to get another spot. This is how you need to practice. If you're new at this, it just takes time to practice. You get good at it. That's second strike. Put it out. Let's go for another one. I'll tell you what, I'll try this other print. Make sure y'all don't think I'm hedging on you here. Okay, there we go. Got it against the flint. Got the flint about a 45 degree. Let's see if we get a strike. And that'll be it. Sometimes it'll light on the bottom, you don't see it. Let's try it on this Georgetown again. I'm hitting it twice when it don't need but one, probably, but I'm used to used to banging at it a couple of times. Let's see if we do it on one. Back there. See, it'll throw it way back there that time. Sometimes it's lit and you don't know it. Good strike. Good flint. Washcloth. Now you know how to strike your flint. But before I cut this off, let's look at the uh, the striker. This is a three finger, I would call it. You put your fingers in like that and you can strike it. And you may hit your knuckles on that flint and cut you in your knuckle hide off. I like to hold mine in a two-finger fashion. Maybe you can see that. Two fingers here, one down there, and a thumb here, and I can control it much better. Control it much better that way. My fingers are farther away from the from the uh, edge of the striker. Okay, this is a lot of fun once you get going good on it. I still got still got a uh, striker uh, cross left. That's a one striker off of that uh, kill cut flint. Let's do another one, and then we'll wind this thing up. Just show you how easy. I'm still on fire. Smell it burning. Here we go. No, it's not lighting. I know what, you know, sometimes, sometimes if you put your sweaty finger on that thing and get that charcoal off moist, it's had a hard time striking. That may be what happened on that little spot with my nasty thumb on it. That is the end of this how-to video.